Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Designs by Stephanie. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Today I'm doing another wig review unboxing for you for this unit that I have on here. This is a cutie, a cute little um, short unit. It's from Sensational. It is the Instant Fashion Wig. It is Mila and it is in the color DR30. And I will link all the information about this unit in the description box below. So please check there. If you have questions on where to purchase it, I will have links to uh, several sites where you can pick this up if you like it. So if you would like to see the unboxing of this unit, then stick around and stay tuned. Okay guys, this is the Mila DR30. The stock card doesn't have much on it. It has the colors as well as the maintenance instructions here. And they do have it in a few colors. I only got it in this one color, of course, but they did have a few left on the website that I purchased it from, but I will link several other websites that you can find it on just in case they don't have the color you want. Let's flip it so that you can see what the inside looks. It does have the light brown wig cap on it. It does have the two inch comb on the front. It is full lace, there is no lace front. I mean full cap, there is no lace front. It does not have any combs on the sides. It just has the two ear tabs on each side. In the back, we have another comb and that looks like it may be one of those one and a half inch combs. It may be two inches. I don't know. It doesn't look as wide as the one in the front. Well, yeah, I think it is. So this is uh, the two inch comb in the back as well as the two adjustable straps on each side. And it does have some stretch to this back part here where the openings are. It has some stretch there, but not much stretch up here at the top where it is all enclosed. So. I'm going to adjust the straps, take off the stock car, and then we'll have the try on. So stay tuned. Okay, I have adjusted the straps. I put them side by side in the middle, middle one. And let's try this on. And my hair is not. Oh, this is this is tight on me that's why I usually put most of them side by side and it may be because my hair isn't quite flat today so this one may not be big head friendly I don't know since it's so even though it's side by side it's tight but that's where I normally put mine so I don't know because my head is small so I can't say if it's really big head friendly or not so check out some other reviews to find that out I swear it seems like I have this wig. I looked and I didn't. But it looks like some other wig that I have. I like this style by these type of wigs a lot that, you know, it's really long in the front and kind of like feathers around on one side and then short on the other. So, it's kind of sort of like the Vela Vela. Say that I reviewed. So I have the Velo Velo linked up there, and I think I have another unit um, that's sort of like this one as well. Maybe the Charlie could be. So I think Charlie, and I don't know. I just like this style, so I kind of buy it a lot. But this one is cut ver uh, very well to me. Doesn't look like I would need to do anything to it as far as my hairline. It covers it pretty well. And they say dark roots, but it don't have much of darkness to the roots. I guess the very tips of the roots are dark. And then the majority of it is this color 30, which I actually like the 30. I like the 27 too, but I like the 30 as well. Hopefully it comes down far enough. So let's check it out in the back. The short side here is the uh, right side of the unit. 
and it goes around the ear as well. They left it a little long, so if you want to um, cut it a little more so that it really shapes the ear better, you can do that. I generally do that, but sometimes I don't. And it comes up well to cover the back side of the ear on this side. And this side is the left side, and it does a good job as well as covering the ear. If you look up under here, it comes up fairly far. My hair grows up far beyond my ears. So, you know, some people do and some people don't. So that looks decent. How that comes up. And let's check out the back. That is the crown where you can see the dark roots. That's where my hair is bunched up. So it's sticking out a little bit. But as far as the neckline, I think it comes down pretty good, it covers the neck. I don't see, well I do see some of my hairline, but my hairline grows down far and I refuse to shave it. But outside of that, it actually looks very good. The cut on it is, they did a decent cut on it. Sometimes you get these and the cuts are horrible, but the cut on this one is actually very, very good. It, the hair resembles um, human hair, it's realistic. It doesn't look a whole lot like a wig, it looks like human hair. Sensational does a good job of that, making the hair look natural even when it, it is not human hair. This is, I don't know what kind of hair this texture this is, does it say? Nah, it don't say what type of hair this is, but 100% premium fiber. That means absolutely nothing. But anyway, it looks, it resembles hair, um, human hair a lot. So I would highly recommend this unit. Um, it's a good unit. It's still hot here in Atlanta. I know some places it may be getting cool, but I wear short units all year long if I wear a wig and not wearing my natural hair. So yeah, that is it guys. I don't have to do anything to it and I love the ones where I don't have to do anything to it. So, once again, thank you guys for stopping by my channel. As always, if you have not subscribed, please click that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. And yeah, thank you guys for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>